In the last video we have placed knights on our map, but this alone doesn't look very appealing. So what we will need to do now is to place obstacles on cells where our knight pieces could potentially move regarding the chess rules. This way we will be first placing the knights and then placing the obstacles around our knights so this will add some structure to our randomness and also populate our map with more obstacles. So let's get to it. We need to go to scripts folder and open our candidate map class. So let's slide down and look for our randomly placed knights. Here it is. And below it, let's create private void. And the method will be called place obstacles for this knight. And what we will take in is the knight piece called knight. And inside this method, we will loop through each position inside our knight piece list of possible moves. So for each bar position in our knight, actually knight piece class dot list of possible moves because it is a static variable and now we can call var new position equal knight position so the position of our knight plus our offset and this will give us the position the potential position of our obstacle now what we need to do is to check if our grid is cell valid so we need to know if this cell actually exists uh, with this uh, position so new position x and new position dot z okay and knowing this we also need to use our method that we have created above here so check if position can be obstacle so we will copy this and we will paste it here and again, we will pass our new position. Okay. And later, we will also need to add here, check if our path doesn't contain this. Okay. And if those conditions are met, we are going to call obstacle array. And we are going to call grid calculate index from coordinates. And we need to pass new position dot x and new position dot z and this will be equal to true so we are going to place our obstacle in this position in our obstacles array now let's create a new method this will be private void place obstacles and here we will simply loop for each bar night in our knight, uh, knight species list and we are going to call place obstacle for this knight and pass the knight great so this will loop through each knight in our knight pieces list and place for it its obstacles so at the end we need to call this method somewhere so let's slide up and we should have create map method so after randomly placing the knights, we will place our obstacles as well. And now because we have our visualization set, we can go to Unity and we can open our map visualizer. Okay, let's slide down. And we had this place knight obstacle and we continued. So now below here, we need to create our obstacle. So what we can do is call create indicator and we will pass position on a grid color white and primitive type dot cube so as i said before the knights will be red and their obstacles will be white so let's save it let's go back to unity and now we should be able to run the game and as you can see our 
the obstacles are being placed and now it starts looking like a map uh, so there are some obstacles generated but as you can see again when we want to create another one of those we need to restart the game and that is not desirable so to make testing easier we will generate the map using a button from the inspector and that we will implement in the next video